Got him. Got him. <laughs> that was pretty far, huh? I hit Sage's like, they're too far. And I heard Got this damn dog, bring his bird back. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Field Trips and welcome back to the great state of Mississippi. Got something totally different for you this time. We are about to embark on our first ever, my first ever quail hunt, the first ever field trips hunting episode. Super stoked for this. We are about to head to Little Q Ranch. We're gonna spend the night there and we'll see you guys in the morning. We'll tell you all about what we're doing, how we're gonna be using dogs to find birds. And then of course, assuming we shoot a few, we're gonna cook them up for you guys. And now if you are a vegan or an animal rights activist or whatever, I completely respect that, completely understand. Nobody's forced you to watch this video. You're probably not gonna enjoy it. So go ahead and check something else out now. For the rest of you outdoorsmen and hunters and just lovers of fun things, this I think is gonna be one of the coolest episodes I've ever done. Here we go. Scramble eggs in a walk. <laughs> Right. Deer sausage, fellas. Yeah, yeah. Almost go time. Just yard stuff, bro. What are those for? Hang the birds on? I'll hang birds. I'll wear a like I wear a vest and I'll put a vest in there, but that's a lot more aesthetically pleasing. They look, they present better on the strap. God, nice. Yeah, you gotta get on. I mean, you got to. I mean, you got, I mean, because I was I said, looking. even get at least two of the house, because it averages in. That's right. You know. All right, so before we get out of here, I mean, Brooks and I are not the most avid of hunters, so we're gonna get a little warm up, get loose a little bit. We're gonna shoot some clays right here in the front yard. Make sure we know which end of this thing to point at them. Should be fun. Y'all ready to do it? All right. You got enough time to slide down and, and shoot. Them. And you, you cock it this way, and when you load it, you load it here. And the spring in that sucker, when you throw it, you That felt better. Oh, we can that one. That felt better. <laughs> there we go. We're dying, right? Naturally. All right, Brooks' turn. There we go. Handleberg, Handleberg, Handleberg. We hadn't even thought about this stuff, so when she was pregnant with Nora, we didn't find out, you know, we didn't do any of that kind of stuff, find out what you're having or whatever. Mm. And so, People at, at school would say, how's baby Q? How's a little Q doing today? Nice. Oh, that is, so that's, that's cool. Sort of, that's sort of where that came from. I like from. it. Plus, what? we're not a big operation either. We're just... Just little Q. We're just little Q. It's okay. We I like knowing the names. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we ready to do it? Yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. Y'all got... So we're going to hike hike from here, and they're going to follow in the mule. That's it. All right. And I think we'd need guns. That would be a good idea. Should um, we get a dog or two? We're probably going to get try throwing dog. rocks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought we, we were just swinging the paddle. Swinging the paddle. Yeah. Hey, this, thanks. I've seen that boy <laughs> catch him with his bare hands and swat him out of the air with that paddle. So it can be done, but it's so much harder. It's cheaper. <laughs> it was all defensive. It was all no, defensive. No, I know it was self-defense, but let I'm me get just a, saying. Let me get a dog. We need guns, and then we'll tear out. All right. Let's do it. Quint. So this is Quint. Quint. You good boy. Jeremy Shorthair Pointer, right? Jeremy Shorthair. He's two years old. It's his second season. Nice. We got Quint and we got Dublin, huh? Hey, buddy. Are you ready to go get him? He was our fishing partner yesterday. Oh, they're about to get rowdy here in a minute because they're going to be mad. All right, let's go. All right, go ahead and turn them loose. You got two go, shots. Go. Just cut across the gap. Remember, don't worry about shooting the barn. Everybody does it. Oh, man. Oh. 
I'll come with you, Mr. Mike. You got this shot on that stuff. Get ready. Nice hey, shot, go. Robert! You! Man, it flew right in my face, though. So. <laughs> All right, this is what we're out here for. My first quail. First shot, first quail. Got it done. That one flew right in my face. I feel like that was a little, that was pretty easy. Good little warm up. Beautiful birds. That was fun. One thing though, he's been he's been saying, as soon as you shoot, reload, because there might be another bird, and there was another bird there that flushed out and I was still reloading. So I kind of, a little too lax on that. We need to get the shells back in there. because we don't know how many birds we're gonna stumble upon at a time, but okay, we're learning, we're learning. Yeah. Quint's on one. Nice shot. <laughs> Good boy, Doug. Press up this way together. Nice shot, Mike. Kill him, Robert. So that one flew right over my head, but then I turned around and <laughs> my camera guy Brooks is ducking like, uh, you know, I've. I've I uh, hesitated. Probably, I'm sure he appreciates that. Yeah, thanks. I heard the gunshot, but that was Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mike got that one down, though. Oh, oh, oh. Right here. Come on up. Is that Yes, sir. Yeah. Hit, hit. Bring him on, man. Nice. Bring him on, man. Good boy. Come on, man. Let's do that. Put one right down in here, and then we'll pop out on the other side and go that way. Yeah, yes, sir! Get him in the navigation system. That's right. In the navigation system. Yeah. <laughs> I got him, miss. I'll take it. <laughs> That's fun, dude. Back, I could have shot him, but I just didn't see him until it was too late. All right, Brooks' his turn. Hold up! Nice shot, Brooks. Send it over. Oh, there it is. Just in case there's another bird there. Oh, 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 oh. Brooksy! Boom. Nice, dude. <laughs> Sniped him. It ain't many times, Lee. Did you just open them? <laughs> hey, do you know normally I do this? Yeah. I don't even have to. Yeah, don't point it at me. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, no. No shot. Get him, man. Back up that line again. Thanks for not shooting me. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Dip. Nice. Shot, bro. Thank you. Bring him on, man. Got piss on something before he brings it back. Homer. Good boy. Soft man. Right here. It's so funny. Like it's easy to forget that these dogs are dogs. They're so professional. They're so just keyed in, zoned in. And then they come over to you looking to be pet and jumped up on me and hugged me and it, it kind of reminds you like, oh yeah, these are these are pets at the end of the day. But it's so cool watching these things work, watching them. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, the dogs make this experience. This is sweet. These dogs are impressive. They're doing the hard work. We're just pulling the trigger. Good girl. You couldn't melt and pour them back up there, I'm telling you. Homer! I mean, hell, they're all south side of Chicago folks, so they ended up moving out here, like down this line. We'll just hunt down this line right here and then kind of work our way back that way. Hey now! Robert, 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 Robert! I had no right missing those birds. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, Homer! Hey, get out! Nice. Nice job, Mike. Thank you. Good job. It's about as much fun as you can have with your pants on. <laughs> we can take them off. No way, man. I'm embarrassed, man. Nah, I should have. 
I, those first three, I was my problem was picking a target. I was like, uh, my instinct was to shoot right in the middle of them, hope I hit all three. And I was like, no, don't do that. Hold on. And then that was stupid. And then we'll come back. That way they've got the wind in their face as they're hunting. Got him. Woo. That felt better. We got another one down that way. Oh, I see it. Two of them. Got it, got it. What the hell? I let him too much. Got him. Kill it, kill it, kill it! Run, 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 I'm about to go get that one bird. We'll track him for the next two days. Hilda looks like she is. Oh, he's right here. Went. There, left, left. Got him. Went. Come here, man. Woo! <laughs> you were on the spot. I wasn't even. I didn't even know where you were going. Oh, here's another one. Look. Oh, I see it. Got him! Got him! <laughs> that was pretty far, huh? That was pretty far, huh? I hit snakes just like, they're too far. And I hurt. <laughs> just damn dog, bring his bird back. That was oh pretty far, huh? I felt good about it. I thought this is too far. <laughs> Getting the hang of it, bro. He nailed that. Hey, that ain't no like, I mean, that's no toy shot, dude. That's like serious dead. That's about as deep skinny where you're gonna shoot that thing. <laughs> Even a blind squirrel fronts and nothing happened there. God, it's a shot. Oh. Ah. Well, this one's moving. Hey! Oh. Yes. Shook. Yeah, I got it. Oh! Great shot, Mike. No, it ain't. Kill him. Oh! Got him. Son, son. Man. <laughs> hey, that bird dog ain't lying. I wasn't going to let a second one get away. Look at that. That dog, no that, that, that dog ain't lying. <laughs> Got him. Woo. Nice. Woo. Nice. <laughs> Got him. Oh, he's on the roof. We got one landing on the roof. Oh, here we go. What the? Damn, bro. I didn't know you had it like that. That was impressive. Y'all, this is this spot that Josh has. Little Q Ranch pristine, gorgeous country. I mean, we're out here. It feels like you're out here in the middle of nowhere, but we drove 15 minutes from dinner at Oxford Square, downtown Oxford. This is so close. You could bring your family out here, go hunting 15 minutes away while your family does whatever in town. This is kind of the perfect blend of quick jaunt from the hustle and bustle of Oxford, Mississippi, yet you get out here and you'd never know it. It's quiet, it's peaceful, it's beautiful country. There's birds everywhere. This is like hunter's paradise out here, y'all. Lil' Q Ranch. This is a treat. Man, we're having fun. Laura. Nice to meet you, Brooks. Brooks is a senior at uh, Fay High School. You got all the hype for us Brooks, as I see. This is Brooks's first year to guide. How's he doing? He's doing fantastic. Oh, oh hey. <laughs> 
a good Take day, this man. This is serious, y'all. This is serious. This, this is, is a serious fun day. Business. This YouTube. This ain't no joke. This ain't no joke. <laughs> Josh, could you kiss him on the cheek now or something? Just we did that earlier. <laughs> We did. That's off. That's uh. Hey, that's me on the cheek. That's uh. That's uh. Field trips after dark. That's right. <laughs> First off, I do want to say this: like gloves, you can wear gloves if you want to. I'm not so much a guy that that thinks, oh well, you know, you're not a macho man. Because I used to, if you wear gloves. And then I caught a wing bone underneath my thumbnail mm -hmm. once, and I thought, well, it's no problem, whatever. All right. Killer day out here hunting. I mean, our first time doing it, and I felt like we shot a pretty good mess of birds here. Now it's time to clean these things. Mm. We're gonna, what do you call it, field dress them? No, we're just gonna dress them. We're gonna dress yeah. them, which is basically gutting them. No, well, it's actually like putting little suits and dresses on them <laughs> and posing them in like antebellum sort of uh, homes and miniatures. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> no, <clears throat> we're just gonna, all we're gonna do is skin them. You know, a lot of, some folks want you to pluck them. We, we skin them, okay. break wings and, and feet down and then gut them. Okay. That's it. So, what are we gonna be left with? The final product. Uh, breast and legs. Breast and legs. A lot of are folks, we eating the legs? I'm gonna eat that running gear. Okay. Yeah. A lot okay. of folks just want the, want the breast. Uh, I, I like both. Yeah. So yeah. first thing you do. Know, I'm just, a big. I'm big on not wasting. All right. You're just gonna start peeling out skin. Some of it'll be a little tougher. Yeah. Down in yours is way cleaner. You're better at this than me. That's weird. I, well, I did this. I did this a couple times. You did this is not your first. I've never cleaned quail, but I did say it at Holiday Inn Express last night, so oh, there you uh, that's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> All right, then you take your teeth. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay, so just break down, break down that joint. Don't mess with the breast. So go in between the breast and. Yes, the... and that's good. And we're gonna put them right. Did in I this. do okay here? Yeah, it was my great. first try. Yeah, it looks great. Good job. Isn't that nice? Look, Ma. <laughs> My mother would be mortified. She is not about this life. She, no, no. she would be like, I ain't eating that thing because I saw its face. She's all, it's the same way I'll address a woman. Training the dogs, how really? did that start? Well, I mean, is really, that just a natural segue from? From the birds? Quail hunting, yeah. yeah. The dog stuff kind of came out of necessity. Sometimes people just come out of the woodwork to have dogs. You know, as the hunt started rolling and we started having litters, it wasn't long before you start to see that if you're running hunts pretty regularly, you need more than two or three braces of dogs. You know, right. get tired, I, I don't, you know, like today, we noticed that some of them don't mix well. I'm not going to claim to be a dog trainer because I know there are folks that, claim, that train dogs. I just teach, you know, high school English and what do I know. But I do notice that they're they're much like teenagers. They're much like teaching students. You know, they got potentials and talents in different places. They're bred to do certain jobs, but they'll do them in different ways. And you kind of have to figure out what the, the dynamic is and the chemistry. And so, how many dogs do you got total now? Here? Right now, eleven. It was cool seeing their different personalities. Like you brought out the different breeds throughout the day. We swapped out dogs as they got hot or, or tired or whatever. And uh, it was cool seeing how, you know, those German short hair pointers, I mean, they're just running, like just mm. roaming. This point is so uh, like intense. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, they're down low. I mean, there's no question they're on something. It was just cool kind of seeing the different style and, and approach that those different dogs took towards it. It makes just this hunt, it's just, it's just cool. It's different than anything I've done. Cause I mean, without those dogs, this is impossible. I mean, oh, even yes. with the dogs there, right? <laughs> you can't see the bird, figure out what they're looking at. Right. I mean, if we didn't have those dogs, we'd have walked right past a hunter birds all day. I mean, it's, we never would have seen a single one. Yeah, the dogs are the show. Yeah. They're, they're the show. Yeah, and it's, I mean, they're the, the hunter. I feel, you know, we're just pulling the trigger. I feel like they're doing all the real work. Oh! <laughs> nice, kill him. <laughs> put in now we gotta wash them? Yeah, we'll put them in the wash. Yeah, we'll put them in this dishwasher. Man, dishwasher, that would be handy. Uh-uh. Plan for money? I just learned I'm about to take your job. I just learned how to clean these birds. You said I'm way better than you two. <laughs> I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it. <laughs> now, we're going to do a little Mississippi upland surf and turf. So we're gonna fry up some crappie and we're gonna fry up some of these quail. We're gonna do the breasts, we're gonna do the legs. We're gonna keep it real simple. We're gonna let the natural protein shine through, the natural flavor of these birds shine through. We do not wanna overdo it. We're talking flour, salt, pepper, garlic, and done. 
We got head chef Josh Kwong here, Lil Q Ranch owner. He's gonna be doing the leg work on the birds. I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the fry and the crappie, but if you guys follow the show, you've seen us fry crappie. Nothing crazy going on tonight. That's gonna be secondary. These birds are the star of the show. We're excited about this. Little Mississippi Upland Surf and Turf. I know y'all never seen this. It's gonna be good. Yeah, we got these guys. Uh... Yeah. Oh, that's got a little. Oh, that's good right there. That's got a little crisp on it. Woo! We smoked. They killed his first bucket. This is first time he ever. Yeah. Shot my first three. <laughs> All right, initial taste test. Here. Is that any good? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that ain't bad. That's fantastic. Oh, hell. There you go. There you go. We've got a little bit of crust on the outside from the flour. Juicy on the inside. That part right there. It's pretty mild flavor, man, really. Oh, it's like nice chicken. That's yard bird. Nice little better than chicken. It was worth the effort. That's good there. Doesn't get any fresher. We're swimming today. <laughs> oh, wait. That's good, y'all. Yeah, Man. Hey, Aaron. Hey, bud. Okay. I get high five. We're at your house filming, cooking crappie. All right, we got a walk here. Josh Kwong has got his walk. We're going to put some vegetable oil in here. You can use whatever oil you want. And I don't even know, Cajun land. This is like a local, Aaron Barton picked this up at the grocery store. We're gonna leave air in the bag as we close it up. Batter, fish. We're gonna shake what our mama gave us. Make a surprise gravy. Uh, it's called surprise gravy. Surprise gravy in yeah. college, that has scared me. What is it? Yeah, we just make a gravy to put over the rice and the quail. All right. What is that, with the quail drippings? Or yeah, what? with the drippings, a little, little flour, Kitchen bouquet, and it's called surprise gravy. I just because surprise. Yeah, there's gravy. I, just made it. I look over. I'm like, what are you doing? He said, I'm just making gravy with the quail drippings. We would have filmed that for y'all, but Josh has his own want agenda. You to know the oh, secret. This is the top secret this recipe. Top secret. This is the little Q gravy recipe. Hey, it's all gravy, baby. It's, it's all, all gravy, gravy, baby. So there's that. Let's move this. I want to try that. I'm excited for that. All right, we got some quail legs going down in the homemade gravy. Mississippi au jus, baby. Mississippi au jus. The, the ASMR here, like you slurping on that leg. Hey. It's got me excited for it. Man, I'm telling you what. Yes, sir. That's serious business. 20%. Get a leg and run it off in that legs? gravy. Okay, yeah. Right. Quail egg, not a quail egg. Quail eggs are a whole nother thing. That's different. Man, let's go. Run, run it off in the gravy. We're gonna we're gonna run it off in the gravy, as the locals say, apparently. As they do. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Oh, buddy. Come on, talk to him about oh, that. Oh, <laughs> buddy. That gravy. I told you secret gravy. I can't tell everybody. I don't blame you now for doing it off to the side while we weren't looking. That's good. Isn't that, isn't that silly? That's slappy mama good. Yeah, and the legs are good. You're right. It's not really like dark meat. Mm -mm. It's but all it, kind but of it the takes same. on a good crunch with the with the. Uh, I guess because it's thinner, it takes on mm -hmm. a good crunch with the the batter. Mm. Buddy, look yeah. like little chicken wings. You like it? It is like chicken wings. It feels like eating chicken mm -hmm. wings. Yeah, you know you eat that. That's good. Are Can I move in with y'all? Yeah, Can I come with y'all. Yeah. Will you adopt me? Come, yeah, I need the pair. <laughs> I'll be in tax right off for you. Yeah, or we'll see you now. All right, we got fish coming up now. Man, that's, man, buddy, that's good. I think you're that's supposed to eat so the good. bone. I might eat the bone. You dip it back in the gravy. That's good, man. All right, we're going to fry this fish. It's ready to go. This wok got hot crazy fast. Dropping this oil and, and look at that. Oh, man, it might be too hot, actually. We're going we're gonna to drop some in quick to cool off that oil because that might be too hot. Woo-wee. Hot wok. Look at that. That's a hot wok. And this is gonna take no time flat. We're gonna flip these right away. This is one of the few times video time is real time. It's been 20 seconds. So to me, the key to any fried fish, I don't care what it is, we just did it with mahi-mahi in Panama. 
as soon as it comes out while it's still glistening, you need to put a little dusting of sea salt and a little dusting of garlic powder on the fish. Doesn't matter how you season it beforehand, that outside needs a little garlic salt. You ready? I'm talking like a dusting. Don't go crazy. Careful with that. I think you should put it in your palm. We got the other Brooks. Brooks 2.0 here. Another guy here at low key rate. That's perfect. Bam. You're like Emerald Agassi. That was perfect. Easy. Easy. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. That's all you need. You got more coming up. Stay ready. Stay ready. Oh, stay ready. Stay ready. Keep from having to get ready. <laughs> this man. All right, first batch done. We're going to drop some more in. It's going to be quick, quick, quick. Bam. Look at that. When it when it's bubbling so good you can't see any of the fish, that's how you know it's hot enough. It's perfect. I might dip this fish in that gravy. So I'm just gonna give them a little nudge, make sure they're not sticking, but they're not. This is gonna be good. Perfect. We're gonna flip these over. Brown, crispy, golden. Between crappie flips, I'm sneaking in a Yeah, I just caught Brooks sneaking in a little leg with some gravy. Bro. That's real? That gravy's good, huh? <laughs> that gravy. That gravy's it. Oh, These are delicious. I can't believe you wouldn't tell my followers what the gravy's made of, but. Wow. I told you it was love. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Is it okay? Oh my God, you can man. Run that off in there? It's good. You want to double dip in that, that gravy? I, I know you want to double dip. I want to go back Thank in the William gravy. for that, because he ran that thing off in there first, and I was like, hey. Man, this, this might stove me up. I could, oh, you'll get uh, stoked up on something like that. I could, I could drink that gravy out of a straw, I think. Is that what that song says? Pour some gravy Pour on me. Pour some gravy on me. In the name of the That's the Mississippi Lord. remix. All right, these do no time flat, y'all. These are done. It's two minutes on each side at most. But every fish we pulled up was just gigantic. Believe it. Oh, man, that's so much better than my Oh, oh I, I know that's hot. I, I know that's hot, though. Yeah, oh. not bad. I'm jealous. I haven't tried it yet. Right yeah, I'm working, man. <laughs> I think we got one more batch and we're done. Look at that. A little golden crispy nuggets of goodness. I got a taste test a piece. For the people. For the people. I'm gonna get this thin and crispy. Little banger, it's still hot, man. But I already know. I don't care who you are. It's pretty good. That's good. You like it. Uh, the UST, Upland Surf and Turf. Upland Surf and Turf, Mississippi style. We got amazing food with amazing friends and an amazing place. What a treat. This is our third time here in Mississippi. And every time I think just this can't get any better. This place is a pleasant surprise. So good. Brooks and I have fallen in love with the state of Mississippi. Am I wrong? Oh no, not at all. <laughs> Man, Josh, truly. Right. What Thank a pleasure, you. bro. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you again, man. Thanks so much for having us here. Of course. Oh, hey, hey Ron. Come here. <laughs> hey. Come on now. <laughs> Thanks for coming back out, brother. Thanks for cooking us this feast. It's delicious. I don't think we can come back to Mississippi without hanging out with you guys. We enjoyed it. I'm just here for the food. This is good. This is real good. Hey, let's eat. We got Brooks. Yeah. Who's hungry? Guys. Here's a plate right here. Here's silverware right here. <laughs> All right, been holding the camera for a while. I've been waiting on this. Brooks Just watching it. My mouth's been watering. It's, it's time to eat, buddy. Yeah, man. I don't get paid enough to <laughs> eat this. Get a little of that. Get a little of that. Whew, mac and cheese. The only thing not made from scratch, a little mac and cheese. That's all right. It's made with love, and that's all Just that matters. Rice. Oh, I missed the rice. My bad, my bad, my bad. Get some rice. Got some rice. And you can't get rice without getting a little bit of that. Well, I was going right in bed. Oh, the gravy's going on last. It's going on everything. <laughs> That's right. I'm just slide that down there. That's right. Get a little bit of this. A couple. Get the leg. Man, the legs are good. Wings and things. Wings and things. All right. And then you know, last but most certainly not least, that surprise. That Mississippi quail gravy. Look at that. Oh, he's, he's going on everything. It'd probably be good on the fish, too. I mean, I, I mean, I'll, I'll do one, one with gravy, one without. There you go. Boom, baby. 
Well, where should I start? Right? That right there, that's a that's a upland surf and turf Mississippi plate right there. Well, I got I got to try something I never tried. A little crappie with the, uh, the quail gravy. I'm just gonna go finish the rest of this. I don't. Even, <laughs> I can tell you something that I, why I think it tastes so good, but I'm just gonna go eat it. It goes without saying. I think just looking at it. Yeah. Good man, trip, man. What a day. What a day. We're halfway done. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Finger Lincoln down here in Mississippi. We have seen hands down the best thing I've ever seen. And my dad knew when I was in jail, but we all had to call our parents and deputy at the time. Clean, clean, and he clean. went to our church, and I was like, please, don't call. I said, please call my dad. But this gravy. It's good. It's good. You it put is that very gravy good. on anything. <laughs> it's good. Like, I put it on my fish, I put gravy so on my <laughs> The secret ingredient was the butter, though. All right, you guys. Well, another incredible stop here in Mississippi. Something brand new, totally different than I've ever done before. Our first quail hunt. I mean, one for the books. What an experience. What a good time. Little Q Ranch. I'll put links down in the description. Josh Kwan. Just what a killer operation this guy runs. Brooks and I had an absolute blast. No pun intended. Going for these quail. They're so delicious. What an experience. What a cool thing. You can come out here. You can do it with your whole family. But... Mississippi, you guys, we ain't done. We're gonna be heading down south now. We're gonna stop in Vicksburg, maybe do some catfishing, I don't know, but then we're gonna end up on the coast. We're gonna do some kayak fishing for redfish in some of the most pristine marsh systems you can find in the state of Mississippi, you can find anywhere in the Gulf. It's gonna be a good time, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, for sticking around to the end. More coming up, catch you guys next week. One of these is not like the other. Well, getting ready to hitch this thing up and notice we got a flat tire. Womp womp. Hashtag RV life. It's not all glitz and glam, folks. Now you can see a little bit of the behind the scenes, but luckily I've got these little ramp things that are going to serve as a jack. I've never actually used them, so we're going to see. Let's see what a spare looks like. All right, Let's see how this works. While the wheels are on the ground, I got to loosen the lug nuts. Well, they were on there good. Then we're gonna pull this thing forward up onto this little ramp. A little more. All right, well that was the most nerve wracking part, getting this thing up off the ground. Pull it off. It's basically a brand new tire. Put the new tire on, get them started. Drop it back down and then tighten those load nets all the way down. All right, I think we're done. I think we're ready to hit the road. I'm only bleeding a little bit. Turns out the full size tire does not go where the spare goes, which Brooks told me right away. But I know better than him for sure. Except for this one time. Stay in school, kids. Go to college. Or don't. Don't do this. That was, that was miserable. A hell of a time. A hell of a time. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. Good.